Hello, I'm David Dunaway. I'm a clinical need for craniofacial plastic surgery at Great Ormond Street Hospital. And uh, I was one of the lead surgeons in the separation of Rital and Ritage, um, the, the craniopagus twins that came from the Sudan and were joined together at the head. So the, the plan is this is the, the final separation for today, and there are a number of phases. The first phase will be raising the skin flat, removing the tissue. So the video that we're looking at now is of the final stage of the separation of the twins. So before this, there have been a lot of planning and uh, we've gone through three, op three major operations beforehand. At this stage, although they look as if they're joined together, the, the brains actually underneath the skin are separate, and you can see the balloons underneath the skin that are distorting the skull have been, there, have been put there to stretch the skin up so that when we come to separate them, we've got enough skin to cover their, both of their heads. My name is Oez Jelani. I'm one of the consultant neurosurgeons here at Great Roman Street. At this stage, there were perhaps 30, 30 plus people in the operating theater because we had to account for two separate children at the end, so you needed two separate teams to work individually on the two kids. It, it, it was months and months of planning and surgery mm -hmm. and lots of ups and downs for, well, the two of us, but certainly the, the team at large. Uh, and this was the point where we thought we're finally going to be able to do this and, and it looks like the outcome is going to be good. So everybody was very psyched, very happy. Uh, there were just lots of energy in the room. And then our plan is to take uh, Rital and she's going to move next door to Theatre uh, 9 for her reconstruction and, uh, and Richard and I will lead on that. I, th I think we thought that we'd done all of the major work and actually as it happened that turned out not to be the case. You know, there was just one final surprise for us. As it turned out there still were a number of big blood vessels crossing over between the two kids which we hadn't um, planned for. Um, so we had a little bit more work to do but it's absolutely only possible in a place like Great Ormond Street. You know you've got the the two, three, four, five surgeons on the table, they can only do that work as long as the teams that you not, don't necessarily see in the limelight keep these kids and keep them alive and anesthetized as they did. I think that's the key here. In terms of, uh, of whether it's, uh, you think about them as children when you're operating, I, I think once you start, that really goes completely out of your mind. You, you have a job to do and that's all you think about. And generally, for, I think for both of us, I, you know, it, we've talked about this, that's how you feel in theatre. But I must admit, for me, seeing them separated and actually knowing that it had worked, was, it, it was quite an emotional mo a moment in, it, in many ways, actually.